Hey guys, what's up? Todd Lamb here, alphanation.com, and today we are talking about abs yet again. But before I do that, I've got a little favor to ask you. Couple actually. First off, if you're up here in Canada, you know it's the annual time for Tim Hortons Send a Kid to Camp. You get a wristband. Listen, if you get an opportunity to help an underprivileged kid or a marginalized kid get away for a little while to escape some of the pressures of the world and go to camp, I urge you to do that. That's favor number one. Number two, if you see kids on the side of the road demonstrating a bit of an entrepreneurial spirit by selling lemonade or something of, of that nature, stop and buy all of it. That's favor number two. All right, so we are talking about abs yet again. A lot of you guys have progressed into the Bravo phase and Charlie phase of Spec Force abs. We've got about 15,000 people doing this program, so I'm actually blown away by the response it's getting. A lot of the advanced, well-advanced phases requires um, you, you to use something like rings or parallel bars if you have them. That's way down the line. But all I'm going to show you is a very simple variation, so you don't even need to worry about using rings. So come on over to the box here, and I'll show you a quick variation on some of the L sets and those positions, just using either a box, a chair, two pieces of wood. It's pretty basic or pretty easy to get her done. Come on over. Okay, so in the advanced stages of Bravo and then Charlie phase, kind of the last two progressions of the overall trunk strength and development program, we get into rings for stabilization of the trunk. Now, a lot of guys don't have rings, so all I'm going to do here is show you how to do it using a chair or um, a box like this if you've got one, uh, or two pieces of wood even side by side propped up. Um, saw horses will do anything like that. So all you're doing, if you're doing L sits for example, if they're in the rings, you'd have the rings this position hands down. So you just want to achieve that same position. And all you're going to do is sit. That's how you do your tuck sets. That's all there is to it. You're in that bracing position again. Brace through here. Hands position. Just lift up and hold. Stay engaged and breathe. Now remember the tuck set is the easiest variation as you're working through uh, that portion of the rings program. Then your next progression is the single leg L set. Right? Again, just pressing up. You're staying braced through the trunk and just extending one leg out. And then the advanced position is the bilateral, so both legs out. And you're just holding that. So, in order to progress through, rings not required, guys. You can, you can be innovative, get her done, saw horses, as long as you, you're stable. I mean, I don't want anybody thundering in or anything like that, but uh, be innovative, do those moves. If you don't have rings, find a box, find a couple sawhorses. You can even do it on a stable chair. If you've got a stable chair, you're just sitting, raising up, holding. That's all there is to it. Come on over. Okay guys, there you have it. There's a variation of some of the moves in Spec Force Abs. I've had a few questions uh, along the way about how to get that done. Now you know. Remember, get your wristband. Help out a marginalized kid. Send him to camp. We'll see you in the next video.